We are still a ways away from the first official day of summer, but it doesn't have to be 100 degrees for the Arizona heat to become dangerous for people and property. All new tonight, ABC 15's Jordan Bonke shows us the cool idea coming to life from an ASU student. If you've ever been on FaceTime for a long amount of time, you can feel your phone getting hotter. And if it overheats, which is not uncommon, it can end up being unusable until it cools back down. An ASU student is developing a way to use the sun to actually cool your phone down. Second semester senior year, the clock is ticking for seniors to find a job, unless you're Jordan Forche. I would love to spend most of my time, if not all of it, working on my company. In just months, Forche will graduate from ASU, leaving Tempe with a degree in technological entrepreneurship and management and two inventions that could be in high demand in places like the Valley of the Sun. This one, under ideal conditions, will be 15 degrees colder than this one. He's developing a technology to cool phones in a case and developing a way to cool phones while charging to prevent overheating and long-term damage to the battery. First came the Cairo Pad, a wireless charger that actively cools mobile phones using a micro water cooling system with a thermoelectric plate. Once out of testing, he hopes to sell it for under $100. His second invention is the Cairo case. You yep. can feel that there is, a there is a temperature difference. A self-cooling phone that uses passive radiative cooling paint. Now the tech is owned by the Palo Alto Research Center. Forche explains that it works like a mirror that's really good at reflecting light. The reason why you don't see this painted on every single building in Phoenix is because nobody's figured out how to make it durable enough. So Forche cased the cooling paint and looks to go to market with it. We put the Cairo case to the test. A thermal imager shows his prototype is several degrees colder in direct sunlight than a phone without a Cairo case. He hopes to add this tech to other hardware that heats when used for long periods of time. He's already won a cool $15,000 with his prototypes at ASU Venture Days. It's all I really ever want to do. Jordan Bondke, ABC 15, Arizona.